Hello again, you can see my Greenlandic t-shirt. That's, uh, you know, from times when I used to travel a lot. And I just saw a documentary about Greenland and Ilurisat and Nuuk and so on. And, you know, just triggered my remembrance. So here we are. Greenland. For today, an interesting device. I bought me some of these little uh, inverter chargers, which um, are supplying a device with more than 3.7 volts coming from a lithium battery. Let's say you have a multimeter and normally it's using a 9 volt battery. Get tired of buying uh, new cells. So uh, this little device is from AliExpress and uh, it's a charging circuit. It works with a single 3.7 lithium battery. It's fully charging to 4.2 volts. So it's a charging controller in the same time. Also, it's a boost converter. So let's say with 3.7 volts at the input, then we can have two output voltage from 4.2 to 28 volts. And this is adjustable. You see, today I want to have one of these guys open, doesn't matter which. And I just want to do a test. Let's see about uh, charging currents and all this uh, stuff, okay? You know, this kind of uh, boost inverters can be useful in the moment when you are using, a, let's say, a 9 volt battery, like a multimeter. I'm not sure if it can be used for having a 9 volts for a guitar preamp. I'm, I'm in doubt about the noises this guy can deliver. It's an inverter, in fact. We have fragrances, we have harmonics there. So it's kind of interesting to find out. We have a battery plus going up here, a battery minus going here, and then a very simple plus and minus. That's the output probably and here obviously we have the uh, charger input uh, type c usb c which is really really nice because now you know all of devices around us are using uh, type c chargers okay soldering iron flux soldier and let's do the things be really careful about the polarity of the cells i'm not sure if this um, little device have a protection for having reverse polarity so i consider it's better to be careful from the beginning. Okay, let's see what we got there. So, battery plus, battery minus. Okay, let's go the other side, it's better. Battery plus here. And what? Battery minus here. There we go. No LED, nothing. To let us know that the device is working but that's okay because that means that means uh, low power consumption on standby and let's see some voltages that's the output 5.55 nice it's working shall we try to adjust the voltage yeah that's okay so let's take a look here minus and plus and let's go and change the voltage Oh, yes. 
Oh, it's more than 20 volts. Okay. Yes, it's going up to 28.3 volts. Nice. And down, minimum 3.8, of course, because this is the, the battery level, probably. Okay, let's have it on 9 volts. Okay, so the device is working. Let's do another little experiment now. Let me see how much current do we have on standby. Okay, milliamps, and that's a really nice 296 microamps. So it's like 0 0.2 milliamps. This is so great. 0 0.29 milliamps. That's the standby. That's the standby current. Let me check with another fellow here. Microamps. You know, let me be sure. Yeah, same story. 297 microamps. And this is really great, you know. I mean, uh, this device can stay on standby for years. Once again, this can be used for different projects, you know, even having a radio you know you never know you need a radio but it's working with nine volts and you only have this kind of battery all right and by the way let me bring a radio all right here we have my old nokia rp9259 so this is from the greenlandic times because i used to listen short waves before the internet was very <laughs> common and uh, you know everywhere and anywhere all right so this radio is like 25 years old at least let me see so we need a six volts input here can we find the plug plus outside okay let's be careful with that so in my case plus is the white one all right and minus it's this guy here. Let's plug in the battery. You see the sign here, it's showing no battery. You got it? It's blinking. Do we have a battery? Of course we have. It's already starting. <laughs> Look there. Let me check a local station. Yeah, perfect. So, Yes, let's check the voltage here. I believe it was around 9 volts. Oh my, that's way too much. Let's go down a little bit. 6 volts. Uh, you see, maximum power 5 watts. That means if we uh, divide 5 watts, it's way under 1 amp. I think it's good enough. So, we can use a radio. Well, it sounds good. I thought we have some more interferences, by the way. But it's okay. That's AM now. Doesn't truly really interfere too much. Okay. The device is working. It can be used without any problem for small devices. To have good results on soldering, always prime the wires with a little tin with a little solder and then everything gets better and easier okay battery minus and plus you see when i'm harvesting let's say used uh, lithium cells i'm always let these metallic tabs because i can easily solder wires without harming the cell you see how nice the cell is on place. Of course, we have power to the radio. That's nice. And now we can easily check charging current. Let's see. We have a red LED over there. 
showing us the charge but there is no charging current how comes a very shy 3 milliamps at the beginning but i still don't have a charging current why maybe the battery it's yeah it's fully load okay you see this is an old cell ready to be disposed so i'm always discharging the this cell at maximum to avoid any problem in the bin in that specific bin of course destined for uh, recycling electronics 3.25 so now we should have a charge for sure come on no power to the radio that means the cell is absolutely discharged and let's check this guy now hmm. still no charging current how comes well i'm absolutely wrong here oh i need the cable <laughs> my mistake now of course there we go people so i have a 1.02 amps charging yes it's charging properly with one amp going down that's perfect yeah it was my mistake having a bad cable 374 okay so it's charging very nice power to the radio not quite <laughs> now yes we have power yes it's charging well guys i think that's it for today interesting device it can be uh i don't know it can fit nine volts battery somehow if you have a proper cell to fake a nine volts battery in a multimeter probably a guitar i don't know i have to experiment with that so far the radio it's working this guy needs at least six volts so we can supply six volts without problem and uh, no i'll be back with a nine volt battery already done and plant it in one of my multimeters and uh, we'll see oh yeah it's getting a little hot not exactly warm but it's charging with 0 0.98 which is nice okay let me turn the light off we can see better now oh my 0 0.85 amps okay so really nice device charging controller uh, boost converter or boost inverter I don't know about the reverse polarity of the cell I don't want to experiment that but for now I'm uh, I'm really happy <laughs> okay nice little toy like always don't forget subscribe like and uh, I'm waiting your comments of course be creative and most of all have fun bye bye Thank you.